Hi everyone, it's Gleeza Made with Glee. I am back today with a, another video. Um, today is a DIY and I'm participating in the useful DIY for a loved one challenge hosted by Mom Das Life, uh, Life Mom Das Life Handmade and uh, Bumby's DIYs. Um, I'm going to link both of their channels below so you can check them out. They both have uh, some very interesting content. And I'm also going to link the playlist below um, where you'll see everyone else's who decided to participate their useful DIY for a loved one. So for my DIY, um, I need something quick because, well, life is very busy right now. I have an upcoming baby shower that I'm hosting. I just came back from a road trip. There's another trip planned. Um, just lots of things going on. So I needed to do something quick. And of course, the main part being useful. Sure, we could make lots of decorative stuff, but again, um, I wanted to do something that's useful. Now, what I have decided to do, and this is a gift from my mom, is I'm gonna knit I'm gonna knit her a afghan, um, a lap blanket, um, because today actually in South Florida it is pretty cold. We woke up with temperatures in the upper 40s, which is very, very cold for South Florida standards. Um, so yeah, a lap um, afghan a couch blanket is something that I think my mom would find very useful. Um, she is transitioning from moving from New York down to Florida permanently and um, she was actually surprised that we got, you know, this chili this uh, this morning. So I wanted to do so. I thought this would be a good um, gift for her. So I am using four uh, skeins of homespun yarn, Lion brand homespun yarn that I have in my stash. If you've watched my craft room video, you know I have lots of stash. Now you can see here, three of these are new, and this one, I've used some of it, but I have a similar color also um, with a little bit, so if I run out, I'm just gonna add that into here. This particular afghan is called a six hour afghan, and I'm gonna link it, uh, the link to the pattern also below in the description. And I've made several of these before, and I so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do another one because it's quick, it's simple, um, and six hours isn't a long time for me to have a knitted, um, key point knitted um, blanket to give my mom. Now you're gonna need for this a pair of speed sticks. Yes, these are the big fat ones. They do work up really quickly your pattern and four colors. Um, these are the colors I have in my stash. I have done this blanket in different in wine color in a more earthy th uh, tone. Um, but like I said, this is what I have in my stash. I don't know how this is actually going to end up looking, but I'm going to start and see what I get. Um, so basically what you need to do with this particular throw is that you're going to be working with all uh, four yarns together so let's see if we can find our ends if we can do it this way if I can do it you know you watching me start if not I'm gonna have to start and then um, pick up from there now usually I pull my ends from there but I see looseness going on so I'm trying to see if the end is just where the end here it is so here's one end Let's see, where's the other one? Here's the other. So it's two. I don't know if it matters what order you put these things in. I don't believe it does. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Like I said, it's super chilly this morning in South Florida. We are not accustomed to these type of temperatures. And I know I should not be complaining because you guys up north, you are... You are getting that arctic uh, plunge or whatever it's called. Um, to start with, especially with the speed sticks, what I do is simply I make a, I grab all four, I make a loop, and I put it onto my needle, and we can start knitting. So for this pattern, you're holding together all 
four and you're going to cast on 34 stitches. So I'm going to attempt to do that now with you watching. Let's see if I can get you in view with these speed sticks. Once it's, if you've never used speed sticks, they're a little bulky and clumsy at first to get used to. But once you get into, you know, like your first two rows, you pick up a, a pretty good flow and it, it really does work up really quickly. <clears throat> so we're casting on 34. So I'm just, that's the second cast on. And we're gonna go grab another. See, like I said, when you're just starting, they're a little clunky and lunky <laughs> to, to work with. And what I'm gonna do is when I really get into this is I'm gonna put all four of my yarns in one basket so they don't go rolling all over the place. Um, it's You definitely have to try to contain it when you're using, um, you know, this many yarn, uh, skeins of yarn at the same time. So I'm gonna keep casting on, like I said, it's a little awkward for me to do this trying to show you guys my cast on from this uh, vantage point but it's the best that I can do at this moment and I don't mean to be showing you so much cleavage so I apologize let me pull my <laughs> shirt up like I said it's a little hard so here I'm just gonna go ahead and finish casting on my 34 oh see there we go guys we're doing this so you can see how it works all right so right now I have one two three four five stitches cast on I'm gonna continue casting on and I will get back to you okay, everyone I'm back with my 34 stitches cast on this is what it looks like and now the pattern is basically a stockinette, <clears throat> excuse me again, which is knit one row, purl one row. So we're just gonna start uh, knitting. And just remember to keep, and keep grabbing all four strands. You know, sometimes it's easy to lose one, um, but we're just gonna keep knitting. And I hope I, you're, you're getting to see this out I mean the view I like I said you guys it's it's a little hard for me to make these DIY showing you I <laughs> I'm trying but I don't know the best angles or how to set it up so that you can really see what I'm doing and I'm not sure I, I'm like really good at teaching people who, how to do things in person um, I've never had an issue teaching anyone how to knit or to crochet or cross stitch or to follow along with me in a craft but on these videos I just find it to be a little awkward getting the right um, angle and the setup just the way my room is and how I work um, I, I just find it a little hard now I'm not gonna stand here and knit all day I will uh, do other things but this is supposed to be a six hour afghan um, so a total of six hours of me working on it I should have a finished product I am gonna start timing it perhaps maybe I'll come to you after every hour and show you what the progress looks like so that way you can see um, how a six hour afghan really works up so right now I'm just gonna continue to knit this first row and I'm trying to keep my yarn on the table like I said I'm gonna put this in a basket so it doesn't roll around all over the place but um, uh, see, see oh god you guys okay all right so I'm gonna just stop this video here um, and continue knitting on my speed sticks uh, the first uh, few rows and get this um, worked on and I'll come back to you guys like within an hour within an hour just to show you what the progress is. Alrighty. Be back. Okay everyone, it's Gleza. It's been about an hour of me knitting my six hour afghan. And this is what I have. 
I have my yarn contained in a basket so it doesn't roll all over the place. The hardest part about knitting something like this is using four strands and making sure that you don't like accidentally drop a strand as you're moving along. Um, it's a nice thick, cushy, stretchy type of fabric. Um, the colorway is an interesting colorway. Um, I wasn't sure if these four colors were going to work, but I actually like it together. Um, so I'm going to keep going and I'll get back to you at hour number two and show you how far I got. Hey everyone, it's Gleesa again. Um, it's approximately another hour later. Um, it's, I am not keeping track of the exact time. I'm working on this as I can while doing other things around the house. Um, this is as far as I've gotten on my six hour afghan. Or is it five hour? What is it called? Six hour afghan. Um, the home split. Now I'm gonna grab my tape measure. Bear with me. Um, you are supposed to knit this until it's 54 inches or 137 centimeters long. So I'm just, I want to get a rough idea of how far we've gotten on this in two hours. And I really don't want to drop any stitches, so bear with me. So in two hours, we are a Approximately, and I'm not stretching it very much. I'm just letting it hang 24 inches So 24 approximately 24 maybe a, a little bit more or less but about 24 inches um, That I've knitted so far in two hours, so I'm gonna keep working on my blanket and Check in again with you in another hour later guys Hey everyone, it's Gleesa again. It's another hour later. I'm about to go cook some dinner and stuff, so I'm going to be putting down my knitting for a while. Um, but I wanted to show you where I got to in three hours. Now, of course, this is not three hours of me sitting, doing this all at once. I have been taking breaks, I've been doing some housework, I've been doing other things. But um, I believe... I want to say I'm doing, what is it, like 10 inches an hour? I don't know, 12 inches an hour? Um, so that's how far we've got with our afghan. And this is the 6 hour afghan again, homespun line brand. Um, I'm using four strands held together. And let's see. Yeah, we're about... 40 inches in three hours. So yeah, so it's a little bit more than 10 inches an hour that I am doing. Again, this is being knitted on speed sticks, which are these big fat uh, size 25 mm uh, knitting needles. And I'm gonna keep going until I get to 54 inches and then I'm gonna bind off and um, well, we'll see where we're at in the fourth hour. So, um, I'll get back to you guys and let you know where I'm at. But I'm going to go make dinner so my family doesn't, you know, get mad at me <laughs> for not feeding them. And um, I'll catch you in a little while. Hi, everyone. It's Gleesa, made with Glee again. Today is actually a new day. Um, <clears throat> I left my knitting room, my craft room, my knitting alone uh, to go make dinner yesterday. And... After dinner, clean up the kitchen, um, just hang out with my family, and went to bed. So I didn't knit any more for yet since yesterday. Today, um, I think I've been knitting for maybe like 45 minutes, and I am running out of yarn. So uh, there were four colors, and the greenish looking one, we're down to like, I don't know. 12 inches. The yellow is pretty much almost done and I have this much of these two colors left. Um, so I'm going to have to find a piece to join and finish off this row but I wanted to measure it and see where I'm at because um, I don't have enough yarn to 
continue going. So now this thing, uh, it's pretty heavy and bulky. You have to be careful when you are knitting it that you don't, um, it's easy to slip off of the needles. That's all I have to say, very easy. Uh, tape measure, where did my tape measure go? Okay, so, I'm gonna try to go on one end if I can. And I really don't wanna drop any stitches. So from the top, give it a little hang. Pattern calls for it to be uh, knitted to 54. And if you look right here, I am at actually at 55. So I think I went a little bit too far maybe, but I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna add on the little piece more of green and bind off. Maybe I should open up that last row. Hmm, interesting. I have a little dilemma now. I'm gonna measure this one more time, lay it out flat on the floor if I can. Um, you know what, it doesn't matter, it's a lap, it's a lap quilt, does it matter? No, you know what, I think I will undo this last row of stitches, which I'll show you how I do that if you want to see. Um, to undo stitches, you're just going to go put them back onto your needle and pull one out, and there you go. So. I can go ahead and undo this row and then bind off. I think that's what is that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So um, let me go ahead and finish this. And I think I have a six hour afghan done in less than six hours. I have to go review all my timing. But yeah, pretty quick. So be back soon. Okay, I'm back with my very last stitch. Um, what happened or what I had to do was I um, undid that last row, unpearled it, and then I did a pearl bind off because the green was running out and so was the yellow. I attached another skein of green just for a little piece and what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut off. And I mean, these are so big, I don't need a crochet hook, so I'm just gonna pass it through to secure my knot and pull. So that's my, I am done. Um, let me pull this to the side and then we'll measure it and I'll show you and everything. But just to show you, this is the bluish purple color. This is all that I have left for the cream. The green is completely done, and this is all of the yellow I have left. Um, I did attach a new skein of a green, but it's not the exact same one. Now I'm supposed to like cut fringes, 68 strands of each color, 20 inches long. There is no way I'm getting fringes out of this much yarn, but you know what? I don't know if I really want or need fringes. So now I'm just going to go ahead and shake out and loosen up my blanket and it's a decent size for sitting on the couch so it's a loose knit and I think as you hang it and you play around with it it kind of stretches so let me just do that and we'll get a finished measurement which I want to say I'm pretty close to 54 I don't know. What do you think? I don't think it even matters. But here is my six hour afghan from Lion Brand. Um, this is my useful DIY for a loved one. Um, it was made in approximately, and I'm just gonna say around about four and a half hours because I didn't count exact time. I based it on watching um, a, a show that I was catching up 45 minutes um, at a time so that's what I base my timing on um, I did it over to a course of two days um, and that's it that's my Afghan so mom Das uh, Bumby designs uh, thank you guys for putting together this challenge that was uh, 
so I was actually able to make something useful and for my loved one which is my mom uh, these colors on her sofa it's like some of these colors are in there so I think it'll go um, it's a neutral but it has a touch of very pale colors in in the print so I think it's fine if not you know on the bed or wherever it's it's a comfy lap again yeah. pretty big you know I'm five two if I did it on a diagonal I can go from you know toe to top so yeah that's my useful DIY for a loved one soft warm cozy I will link the pattern below it's um, lion brand homespun yarn uh, four strands together held together with size 25 or uh, speed stick knitting needles um, knit and purl alternate rows through the whole thing very very easy the hardest part is you know making sure that you keep your four strands together as you as you're knitting it's easy to sometimes you know like if you put it down and pick it up again to uh, miss um, a strand but then it you know if you're knitting you know how to you know go back and fix it so um, that's it about that's all I can really tell you guys um, the colorway again I am doing stitch from stash this year um, which not only includes my cross stitch stitch from stash it includes my yarn stitch from stash um, I'm gonna try whatever knitting or crochet projects I want to do I am gonna use the yarn that I have on hand I'm not buying anything this year I hope so um, glue I might have to buy glue but other than that I'm gonna try to craft as much as possible using things I have in my house especially when it's you know things for myself or whatever so that's it again mom does um, uh, life handmade and bum the uh, I'm sorry I can't speak uh, bum bees DIYs uh, check out both their channels I will link them below I'll link the playlist and thank you guys for watching subscribing uh, liking leaving comments if you have any questions about the six hour afghan that I did in four and a half feel free to let me know um, and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone